The biggest problem with any entertainment industry that has been turned into a fucking conveyor belt is that innovation, though accepted, is very scarce when your main goal is to churn out subpar but serviceable shit. Look no further than Zack's Justice League, the thing didn't even have the time to cool off and I already hear the vultures circling around it and I sort of expect the next few superhero movies to be basically several TV series episodes and naturally merged into one long movie. What was I talking about? Oh, that's right, comedy. In the anime industry, comedy is always the genre that suffers from it the most. Most genres are stuck in this limbo, where there's that one work that is liked both at home and outside of it, and from that point we'll have a steady stream of copies going around, hoping to gain at least half of the popularity these series do. And comedy animes seem like they either never have updated their template, or it never had one to begin with. Which is why we have comedies where the comedy is either physical or about people screaming their heads off. But yes, suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town as a 12 episode cunt curbing harem comedy anime about how Lloyd Belladonna, the wickest boy living in a secret village near the prison for all demon lords, goes into the kingdom's capital to become a soldier, joins the army and gets all the bitches. Unfortunately for the bitches in question, he is also very naive or very dumb, but also very kind, caring and compassionate, which makes their inner sanctums quite flooded, but doesn't help with the whole actually getting laid thing. In case if that wasn't obvious, this is the main premise and the punchline of the show. The other joke is that though he is weak for other villagers, he's actually strong for everyone else, but he doesn't believe in it. So he constantly does something he considers mundane, but everyone is freaking out over it. While this happens, some serious plot stuff occurs in the background, only for it to be either ridiculed or turned into some very convoluted scheme to make Lloyd look good. That is the third reoccurring joke. Yes, it is about as bipolar as you probably imagine it to be. The biggest take I had from the show was that it couldn't really decide on whether it wants to be a serious fantasy anime or a comedy one. I am more willing to say it's the latter, given that most of the show is basically that cyanide and happiness cartoon about lunk stretched into 12 anime episodes, but for an anime that doesn't want to take itself seriously, it goes into the story and world building on a near regular basis, and because of this indecisiveness, it's really hard for me to take a definitive stance on the show. It does make the effort at being funny, I laughed at some jokes and hated others, the graphics look nice, and the aesthetics of the world as well as the visual design for the main girls is fairly mundane, but also distinctive with some interesting gimmicks sprinkled around. The music is memorable, very intrusive, and pretty much serves as replacement for canned laughter. It is, at the end of the day, entertaining enough that I'm more than certain some people would want to watch it in the same way One Punch Man is entertaining, but also because of One Punch Man, Noblesse, The Misfit of Demon King Academy, and every other anime with a similar gimmick that I can't be bothered to remember, I I can't really recommend it over any other anime like this that has done the same thing, but better. Perhaps I'm just being too harsh on the comedy genre in general. After all, not everyone has the same amount of exposure to anime as I am, but I also don't remember ever asking for comedies like this. I never went, you know what shows like the record of the Lotto Swore need? A fucking comedy harem subplot.